You gotta love the look of this, and it's still in progress. Artists bringing some love to historic McCullum Hall, which was once at the heart of a thriving Dunbar community in Fort Myers before the building fell into disrepair. Tonight, our photographer Karen Deerdorf with a look at the mural and the artist behind it. It's taking shape on these 17 concrete panels spanning this eight foot wall nestled between McCullum Hall and the neighborhood next door. If you're going to tell a story, a great story always begins with, let's start at the beginning. In the beginning, we have Paul Lawrence Dunbar, who the town is named after. Then we move to kind of like the Art Deco influence. To me personally, as an artist and getting older, the ability or going back and focusing on history and trying to bring important things of history forward, it's kind of becoming a little bit more important to me. Nowadays, it's so hard to get kids interested in history. You know, one of the famous stories of McCollum Hall was they would open up the, uh, the dance hall to black and white people, but they would have a rope down the middle of the building. And throughout the night as the music got going, somehow that rope would magically disappear and everybody would start intermingling. So it was really important to include dancing and music and how that influenced or how that was really seemed to be one of the first barriers that brought black and white people together. People that actually were at McCollum Hall in its heyday. And we're taking a wall and we're turning it into a celebration.